Senior prom. <laughs> what year? Set date, time. When 1992. You are? Okay. You were not alive. No, I was not. Oh my God, I was right about that. <laughs> Beat number one. Continue, Jinx. <laughs> I go to prom. Lovely friend of mine. While at prom, I dance with my ex-girlfriend. It's fine. We had a good time. Okay. Girl I went with sees this, is unhappy, turns into a whole thing, right? Ruined everything. Uh -oh. Ruined everything. So I drop her off. I'm totally devastated. She thinks that, I think even to this day, she thinks, <laughs> okay, you were messing around with your ex-girlfriend. I'm thinking it was innocent. Doesn't matter. Night's over. There's an after party, right? I'm totally bummed. I don't want to go to the after party. So what do I do? I go to my old elementary school track and I just sit in my mom's car. Mom, let me take the Cadillac. It was a big night, right? And I just sat there because I was so bummed and I just sat by myself. I didn't go anywhere. I was really disappointed. I sat there until about, I fell asleep in the car. It was like four in the morning. I woke up and I was like, oh, I need to get home. I'm driving home. I stop at the one convenience store in town that is open 24 hours, okay? During this time, I didn't show up at this after party. A friend of mine, worried, calls my mom and says, Michael's not here. Nobody knows where he is. This is before cell phones. So my mom freaks out. She gets a friend of hers to go look for me. And they drive up and down the main street. I'm from a small town. As they're driving up and down Main Street, my mom sees her car parked outside this convenience store. I'm inside getting like a burrito and a Diet Coke or whatever, it's high school. She doesn't check inside the store. She sees her car parked outside and says, oh, he's parked my car outside and he's out, gets in her car, drives it home. <laughs> so I walk outside the convenience store after a terrible night, one of the worst nights ever. I got ditched, okay? I spent the night alone and I'm like, my mom's car's been stolen. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. So this is a small town, crime rarely happens. I call the police, they put on an APB. The police officer, Wes, I know Wes, small town. <laughs> Wes doesn't believe it. He goes, Michael, are you sure the car didn't, you didn't put in neutral and it didn't roll around the corner? I'm like, no, Wes, the car didn't just roll around the corner in neutral. <laughs> We look around the corner, the car's not there. The car's gone. So I'm like, you've gotta be kidding. Like I got ditched and my mom's car's been stolen. So Wes is like, you want me to take you home? I'm like, sure. I get in the back of a cop car. He takes me home. We drive home. The car is sitting in the driveway. I look like an idiot. My mom thinks I've been out all night, thinks I've been taken home by the police. She doesn't know what's happened. So she comes out in her curlers wearing some t-shirt or something. <laughs> curler. And she's like, this young man is in a load of trouble. She's yelling. <laughs> and normally I would have lost my mind and gotten angry and I was so distraught. I didn't even explain anything. I just walked past my mom, went straight to bed and she talked to the police officer. So the next morning, my mom was, I was kind of fiery. You know, I would have talked back. I didn't say a word. And so the next morning my mom comes in and goes, what happened last night? She knew things weren't right. So senior prom. I went home alone in the back of a cop car after thinking my mom's car had been stolen after getting ditched by my date. That was my senior prom. All right. Well, it was a beat. That, Tim. that, that, that is was a beat. For in us. case that you're story, wondering, that story. That story is of incredible. 27 years ago. Small town. Do you know how often I heard the joke? Hey, man. Uh, where's your mom's car? Oh, no. <laughs> and from the adults. It wasn't even the kids. Jinx, the best part of that story, and I'm sorry your night ended that way years ago, I'm was not, that was that the cop thought you left the car in neutral and it just rolled around, around the corner? Because, are you sure you didn't put it in neutral? And think about the possibility of a car rolling backwards and suddenly just turning left. <laughs> Why would that ever happen? It would roll straight back. <laughs> just going around the cul-de-sac. The police Classic officer Cadillac couldn't believe it. He's like, no way this car got stolen. This is Breckenridge, Texas. <laughs> yeah, it happened. Oh. oh, that's the best. Thanks for indulging me there. No, oh, it was great. Thank you for He has tears coming story. out of his eyes. Oh. Oh, so, uh,